I'm absolutely devastated to report that DEFRA have taken Geronimo away by force this morning. They have refused to inform me where they're taking him. As far as I understand, Geronimo is still alive, all alone in a trailer, heading somewhere, absolutely terrified, taken from his herd where he's lived for four years. Over the last two weeks, we have tried to engage constructively and persistently with George Eustace, Lord Benyon, George Eustace's special advisers, senior DEFRA civil servants and multiple MPs and government scientists proposing a different way forward that would enable the government to address um, to address their stated priorities in tackling bovine tuberculosis and also save Geronimo's life. The government have refused to engage in good faith. We now know they have been stringing us along for the last week, fobbing us off by saying that people are on holiday and would get back to us this week. Now we know that they were not only ignoring our consistent pleas for constructive dialogue, but had no intention of engaging with us. In fact, all the time, they were simply planning to murder Geronimo. This is yet another appalling demonstration of bad faith and duplicity by the Secretary of State and everyone at DEFRA. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm absolutely disgusted by this government. They know that they set him up four years ago with incompetence and bullying and a falsified test that has no validity. And yet here we are, this morning, the Geronimo has been manhandled out of my farm. It needs to be said, these are barbaric actions of unscientific, abusive people in government and taxpayers are paying for this. Taxpayers are paying for TB policy to be absolutely ignored. I wasn't here because I would have been prosecuted for obstruction if I failed to catch Geronimo myself. I am not going to put my hands on a healthy animal and allow the government to murder him. It's against my Royal College Code of Conduct as an RVN. Here. And we know, and we have known for four years that the science is flawed. And what they did to him was deliberately manipulate a test to suit their agenda. Do you expect to hear any good news now he's been taken away? I need to hear news from the media that they have tracked down that horse box and I need to hear from Lord Benyon, George Eustace, Boris Johnson and anyone else responsible for this that they have stopped his slaughter and they will come to the table and sit down and agree to what we asked them to do. We were promised a meeting. They said they would get back to us. We've been duped. Waveridge is the most likely place they will have taken him. It's the government laboratory. I want an independent vet there, if Geronimo, anything happens to Geronimo, to witness his post-mortem. And if I do not get an independent witness at that post-mortem, if Geronimo is killed, then I will know that they will be budging the post-mortem results to create a suspicion of confirmed disease so they can say that he caught TB in New Zealand six years ago. It's an absolute disgrace. He did not ever catch disease in New Zealand. He has never been exposed to TB. This is blatant abuse. Do you worry about the rest of your animals? They're here, they're safe. I worry about Geronimo. There's nothing wrong with the rest of my herd. Never has been. Will there be an independent witness at, at Geronimo's potential killing? I mean, is that what you asked for? Is, is that I'm demanding it. I'm demanding it. And if government do not engage with me now, I will know that they fabricated his post-mortem. Simple. There's no reason, there is no reasonable reason why we cannot have any number of independent vets at that post-mortem if Geronimo is slaughtered. And as far as I'm aware, he is still alive. 